I would go to hell. I wasn't so much afraid of dying, I was afraid okay. of going to hell. Okay. And, and I believe that an angry God was on God's way back to destroy the earth. My Lord. And I would have believed, just like a whole lot of people have been teaching here of late, I would have believed that President Obama was the Antichrist. Come on, Come on Bishop. And I would have believed that the plethora of earthquakes and yeah. tsunami and some storms, oh, I would have believed oh, yeah. that yeah. those things signal the yeah. imminent yeah. Yeah. Coming of an angry Jesus yes. Woo. My Lord. on his way back to blow this thing to pieces. Right. My Lord. I wouldn't believe that. In fact, I did not only I was not only taught it, but I taught it myself. I hear you. I know that. Because I was so sure. Oh yeah. I got in a bunker of my own. Yes. Sort of a holiness bump. Yeah, I got it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know. And I used to go on many a three-day and three-night shut-in and a 14-day fast, 21-day fast, yeah. trying to get ready for the imminent appearance of this angry and spiteful, revengeful God. Who is coming to destroy That's right. everything that That's this right. God painstakingly spoke into creation. That's right. And that God hated everybody, really, right. with right. a handful of us. Yeah, my Lord. Come on. That's right. The way Fred Phelps teaches it in the Westboro yeah. Baptist Church teaches it. Right. God is on his way back yeah. and forth. Is he pissed? Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. That's it, Bishop. That's that was what I believed. That is. All my heart. Oh, the truth. But I want to make an affirmation statement to you today. Oh, thank you. I absolutely reject. Come on, That's right. Any teaching. That's right, Bishop. That somehow suggests. Yes. That our God is spiteful. That's right. That our God is punitive. All right. That our God is vindictive. Hallelujah. I reject any teaching Thank you. that suggests that our God is destroying this creation. Come on. Come on, listen to me today. That's right, Bishop. Because our God is angry at the things we are angry about. Right. right. I call it the theology of God as pit bull. <laughs> we get mad and then we tell God, sick him. Get them, bite them, do whatever you can do. The way some people have mistreated and misused pit bulls. Anybody understand what I'm talking about? And I'm going to say to you clearly, I have decided to wrap my whole life around a God of healing, a God of hope, a God of inclusion, a God of power. And I believe that love is stronger than hatred. Yes. And I believe that life is stronger than death. Yes. And I believe that love will love the hell out of anybody. Yes. I believe with all my heart, hallelujah, yes. that our God loves us like that. Yes. And our God receives us like that. And our God includes us like that. And my intent is to live the rest of my life not living it in fear. Right. But living my life out loud. Anybody hear what I'm saying? I want to be alive in the world. How about you? Yeah. I don't want to live in a cloister. I don't want to live in a bunker. I don't want to live in a hole. Yeah. Right. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Right. Right. A city that sits on a hill right. that cannot be hidden. Right. You're the soul of the earth. Right. And if you don't do your job, how will people get their seasoning? Right. You are the quintessential essence of my love. You are the incarnate. You're the absolute object. You are the living, breathing person and persons who exemplify everything that I came for. Right. And how are we going to help the world? Sitting over 
somewhere waiting for an apocalypse. Right. Oh. Right. Sitting in a bunker waiting for everything to blow up. I believe there's peace coming. I believe there's love coming. I believe that hatred has had its time. Yes! It, it came to a boiling point. And all the racism boiled up. Yes, teach! And all the sexism boiled up. Yes! And all the homophobia boiled up. Yes! And all the gender phobia yeah. boiled up. Yes! And people said exactly what they had to say about yeah. everything. Yeah. Yes, they did! Yeah. Even the snake handlers came up. And they said everything they had to say about everything and everybody and everything. So now we know how everybody feels. Because they've been lying for a few years. Oh, yeah. Now everything is out. It's out now. Right yeah. about it. And it's been put on blast. And everybody knows how everybody feels. That's right. That's right. And now it's time for God to be God. And I want confusion to know that peace is on its way. And I want hatred to know that love is on its way. Don't you want to be on the Lord's side? How many people want to be on God's side? How many people want to be on God's side?